on, join me over here. <laughs> All right, so this is what the desk would look like. Jim, That's do you right. remember when we used to be able to sit underneath there? Yeah, I, well, that's a long time ago, yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right, John, so this is the student's tablet here. Yes. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the textbook application on the tablet here. Yes. So let me go ahead and click on textbook. Let's make sure we're sharing that with the audience. There we go. And as you can see, there's a new module that's been added to my textbook. If I go ahead, and that's from the teacher adding that module, I'll click on the science uh, textbook and we see a new lesson in technology and exploration. Yes. And if I click in that, it brings up the ebook reader here. And because it's an ebook, of course, we can have embedded multimedia. So here's a video. I'll click on it to play that video. This is a lesson around technology and deep water marine archaeology. I'm going to go ahead and pause that because I want you to notice at the top of the screen, yes. you see where it says live event here? Well, what we're going to do now is allow the student to connect to a research vessel that's in the Aegean Sea with an underwater submarine that's taking video from an architectural display. And we're going to connect to that here and we're gonna see live video. Now this is live coming from the Aegean Sea. We'll see that video running here in the student's text. So what we did with our position in advertising in terms of taking a classroom where a student used to go out on a visit to the farm and now they go halfway around the world to another class to learn about it. That's right. You're taking this to a whole new level. That's right. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay. I'm going to click on live event here and then we'll go ahead. Now which and vessel are we going to again? We're going to, we're going, they're actually diving on the HMS Triumph and I click on live video. So Titanic and everything. That's right. Yeah. So we are now actually seeing live video from the bottom of the ocean in the Aegean Sea. This is live video. Now it gets better. Hold on just a minute. It gets better. Let me go ahead and we'll, we'll end that call. So you think about it from a research point of view. All of a sudden when you find a vessel or you find something you're trying to bring the world's experts to, you don't just describe it later. You take it interactively. You wake up those people anywhere in the world. You bring the expertise immediately to them. It changes business models. That's right. For education, this is how you learn. That's you right. remember it forever. Now, this video is actually coming from the research vessel Nautilus, and the Nautilus is in the Aegean Sea. This is Dr. Robert Ballard. Uh, Dr. Ballard is the explorer who discovered the Titanic. Yes. This is his research vessel. We're going to show you how the teacher now can call the vessel and bring that lesson into the classroom. So I'm gonna click here, and we'll, it's in my speed dial, we'll click on Nautilus, and this will bring up now telepresence on the display behind us here, and we'll be able to connect to the vessel. So this is how the vessel looks in the Aegean Sea. That's it's right. It's the ability to see what is actually occurring down in the water, and at the same time, talk to the teachers on the vessel as well as the research That's leads. Right. Well, let's talk to Mike Brennan. Mike, are you there? Yes, I hear you. How are you? Good. Thank you, Mike. So uh, Mike is the chief scientist on the Nautilus. Mike, can you tell us a little bit about the Nautilus and the project that you're working on? Sure. We, uh, we just started a contact expedition that is uh, preparing to, to exploration program in the Aegean and Mediterranean right now off of the uh, uh, off the Straits of the Dardanelles, just south of there, um, the wreck of a World War One battleship was sunk uh, in the Gallipoli campaign. Uh, it uh, was part of a fleet of Australian and British ships. Here is expand our telepresence uh, universities and schools around the world live to students uh, and kids. So right now we're at 60 meters depth. Coming so, live to you. That's great. Well, thank you, Mike. We're having a little trouble with the audio, but yeah. this video is coming over telepresence, over yes. a satellite link from the ship down into Rhode Island, and then over telepresence so, to us here. Okay, so it's going satellite, part of the delay. It's that's also right. keeping the microphone real close to you that's in terms right. of the ability to that's talk right. to it. Now we have two teachers there, is that's that right? That's right, Jose and Carla. Hey, Carla. What's it like uh, teaching people from uh, the vessel? How, we're doing well. We're doing well. Tell us a little bit about what you experience and how you communicate this to your students. It's definitely an amazing experience. Side of the world and still um, you know the East Coast. 
hosting across the world um, to be able to make it interact and make technology available to each other. It's a great opportunity to be here. And that's great. Well, thank you. Thank you, folks, for helping us with our demonstration today. This is really impressive. This is really going to change the educational sure. experience for the, for the future and for our kids. This is great. Yes, it is. Jose, Carla, Mike, thank you very, very much for bringing this live. Now, Jim, do we get to experience this? I hope so. <laughs> All right. Thanks, folks. Take care now. All right. Uh, John, think about if you had this technology when you were a youngster going to school. How inspiring. So you so. could not only learn from it, you get to, sh to steer, steer the submarine yourself, and that's, right. that's how you remember it forever. Imagine if each class was this way, Jim, how much it would change things. Very exciting. Thank you, Jim, John. Jim, congratulations. Right. Well done. Thank you.